All right, good day and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be looking at how to create your very first document. So like I said, when you click on Word, this is what you will see. Word will open up because it doesn't know what you want to do yet. Do you want to create something new? Do you want to go to a document that you've already created? Again, you've got uh, icons on the left here to go specifically to new or to go and open. In our case, we want to go and open a brand new document. And you can use any one of these icons. Remember, the first one is a blank document. The rest are templates. So if you want to create a letter, you want to create, you know, some sort of um, document, maybe it's a resume, maybe it's a newsletter, you've got templates that you can click on. It'll, it'll give you the basic layout um, of that. We want to just create a new document. So I've clicked on new, I'm going to click on blank, and this is what Word will give me, okay? So you can see it's very similar to what we did in our basic layout video. This is a brand new document. Now, how do I know that? Well, first of all, there's nothing here. Okay, so I haven't created anything. Secondly, when I look at the top, this will give me the name of the document. Now, by default, Word will say document one, document two. That indicates it's a document that you haven't saved as anything yet. All right. So even if I close it, nothing will happen. Don't even ask me, do I want to save it? Why? Because I haven't made any changes to it. So you can see I'm going to go in again, new, blank document, and there we go. So now I'm just going to type in some text, anything, it really doesn't matter. That's not the point of this exercise. We want to create a document. So I've typed out everything I want to, and guys, please follow the other videos where I deal with formatting and styles and all these things. Um, but this is just the principles behind creating your first document. So I've added some text to my document. Let's say I want to go and make that bold. I want to go and highlight that, whatever the case is. Once I'm done doing that, look what happens now when I try and close my document. It asks me, do I want to save the changes to this file? Now, why? Because I've made changes, okay? I can either say, well, I don't want to save it. And if I click on that, it'll just close. However, if I click on save, it's then going to save my document to where I um, placed it, right? Okay, so this is a network document, so I'm not going to go there. I want to just save it to my desktop. Click save. And there you should see, there's my document over there. And I can open it. And there we go. So what did I do? I opened Word. I edited my document. And when I wanted to close it, when I was done, it asked me, do I want to save it? And I saved it. Now, if you don't want to go that route and have to close it, that's just one of the options. You simply go file and you can use save or save as for a brand new document. And you can see it'll ask you the same thing. Where do you want to save the file to? If it's not listed over here, you can simply click browse. And then you can say where you want to save it to. So I'm going to say desktop again. And I'm going to say I want it within my uh, live stream folder. And then I make sure of the file name, the file type, that's important. And then I click save. Guys, and that is how we create uh, a normal, just very simple Word document.